Hi there, I'm Ellie from Smart Apps for Kids and I'm going to show you a demo of what this app looks like on the inside. When you've seen enough, click this icon at any time during the video to read more about it or to download it from the App Store. Here we go. Welcome to TikTok Time, where you learn to tell the time by learning the science of why we tell the time the way we do tell the time. Now, there are lots of sections here to unlock, so it starts with the compass and understanding how to read a compass. Then we move to the sun and the shadow, which shows how sundials were used in the past, how the time looks from space, and then you can play with the clock and have challenges. So. We might skip the compass and we might go, because there's a lot of content in here, we might start with the sun and its shadow and we might start at number one. My brother is at home, but I felt like going for a walk in the glade. We are standing by my favourite tree. <laughs> I'm hungry. I might take a bite out of it later. But in the meantime, let's play with the sun and the shadows. Put the sun or the shadow where they are in the morning. Okay, so the morning, you can see down here the compass. Now we learnt before that the sun rises in the east and is at its zenith at, uh, at when it's in the south, the very top, and it, it sits in the west. I'm having trouble with my words. So she said in the morning, so we're going to move it over to here. And there's the shadow. Perfect! <laughs> the sun rises in the east. Move the sun or the shadow towards noon. Okay, noon is up here. <laughs> exactly! The sun is the middle and its shadow is very small. Put the sun or its shadow where they are in the evening. So over here is its setting in the west. Well done! You now know how these two things move together. You can even see this happen in your everyday life. And Press you get a little reward to fill the bucket for completing the task. Well done. We've got some water, so we're going to go on and have a look at the next You've step. You see the shadow. Did you know that shadows exist because the light of the sun can't get through the trees? The lack of light creates a dark spot on the ground. Let's see how the shape changes. It's the middle of the morning. Which shadow matches the position of the sun? Okay, so what's directly opposite? That'll be the purple. <laughs> well done! The sun is rising. Which is the right shadow out so, of these three options? There it is on the yellow. Correct! <laughs> Did you see how long it is? Yeah, the it is long, isn't now it? Let it, it? This Do one's a short one. you know which shadow matches? It's the purple one. Yes. Sometimes shadows become very small. Now it is the middle of the afternoon. Touch so, the correct position of the shadow. The purple one. Well done. You got all of the answers right. Now you know that shadows do not always face the same way and are not always the same size. Into the box. And we've won a sun. Let's go on and see what else we're going to do now with shadows. Now you understand how the sun moves in the sky and how shadows are created and move during the day. In the past, Man used the position of the shadows on the ground to tell the time. Let's go and learn about sundials. Move the shadow or the sun to 15. So we need to move it so that it's pointing to the 15. Move the shadow or the sun to 9. Over to 9. <laughs> move the shadow or the sun to 18. Oh, that's way up. Afternoon. Move the so very shadow long shadow. or the sun to six. Six up in the early morning, long shadows too. Move two. the shadow or the sun to 17. Oh, that's all the way back over near the late afternoon. Not quite so late. Now you know how man used to tell the time during the day. But what did they do at night? Well, to understand this, we have to go into space. Oh. Hey! 
Here's a rocket. <laughs> How My convenient. dad will show you what's happening up there. Excellent. Let's go on the rocket with Beaver Dad. Dad Beaver? Daddy Beaver. Cut up the cardboard box to find out what's inside. Okay. Whee! Well Ooh. done. You've won a cloudberry seed. Oh, a cloudberry seed. It's very cute. Flying through space is fun. The blue ball that you can see is planet Earth. That's where we live. Over there is the sun. The sun is a star, a ball of molten gas that illuminates and warms the Earth. Mummy Beaver and the children have stayed on Earth. Let's see what they're doing at each hour of the day. Look, the Earth is spinning. My family is going from the dark into the light. Your turn. Make the Earth spin. Move my family around until they reach the red numbers. So at the red numbers, they'll just be going into the dark. So they must be going from daylight, daytime, into the evening. Soon they won't be able to see the sun from where they are. They'll say the sun is setting. Move He's Mummy setting, Beaver yes. and the children to the blue numbers. Okay, the blue numbers completely in the dark. That must be at midnight. It's midnight. My family is asleep. I should hope Try so. to wake them up. Move them around to the green numbers. Okay, so he's going around, and as the dark moves into the light, it's early morning. Look, they've just woken up. They can only see half of the sun. It's dawn. A new day is dawning. Put my family on the yellow numbers. Okay, you're going to have to float away from the yellow numbers, though, so move over here. And this is right in the middle of the bright. The so sun is high day. in the sky. It's noon. Or noon. It's the middle of the day. Now you know that the sun doesn't really set anywhere. It's just that the forest where I live no longer receives the rays of the sun because the earth is spinning. Now, let's see how to divide the hours between day and night. Okay. First Press up, though, we've got to get our to fries. Fill the bucket. There's our water. Well done. You have seen that the Earth is spinning. When it rotates fully, one day has gone by. This time period is divided into 24 parts. We call them hours. Let's play a game to understand this better. Put the sun on 14. Okay, put the sun on 14. There it is. Put the sun on 1. Okay, all the way around here. It's in the dark on one. Put the sun on 18. Can we go backwards? Look at that shadow on the tree. Put the sun on five. Okay, this is very early morning. Put the sun on 22. 22, that's... Over here it's quite dark in the, on the earth here, isn't Put it? Put the sun on 12. 12. And look at the little tiny shadow that's new. Well done. That was brilliant. You are really starting to understand the hours of the day. It's time to play with a clock. All right, let's Before go we play move with the on, clock. I'd like to show you something. Okay. First, let me cut this circle in two. Oh. Between noon and midnight. There are now two parts, you see? The numbers from 0 to 11 are on one side before noon, and those from 12 to 23 are on the other side, the afternoon. Now, the two parts have changed into circles. The circle before noon is called AM. The one afternoon is called PM. If you look closely, the two circles are identical. They each have 12 hours. So. When it's one hour after noon, we say it's 1 p.m. Let's bring the two circles together and see what happens. Ooh. They're identical. We have a clock. They both have 12 hours. The circles together form a clock with 24 hours. It's simple. When the hands of the clock do a full circuit, it goes from before noon to afternoon, and vice versa. 
When the clock strikes five, it means that it's five o'clock in the morning if you're in bed, or it's five o'clock in the afternoon if you've been up for a while. Well done. That was brilliant. Here's There's our magic prize. in the air. Close the chest. We've got another sun. Well, let's go and have a look at these clocks. Oh, we've landed back on Earth. That's excellent. Now that you know why there are only 12 numbers on a clock, help me put it together. Put the numbers where they belong. Okay. So 12, 1, 2. What happens if I try and put the wrong one in? Just goes somewhere else. 3, 4, 5. You still have six, some numbers to place. 7, 8, 9, 10. Ill Oops, hold on. 11, 12. Now move both hands of the clock. Okay, so the little hand is the hour hand. The big hand is the minute hand. You'll need a screw to hold them into place. Oh, I will. Okay, in the middle. Well done. You've built a cuckoo clock. Let's play with it, and soon you'll be able to tell the time on any kind of clock or watch. Cut up the cardboard box to find out what's inside. Well done. It's another cloudberry seed. Now it's time to learn how this clock works. The small red hand shows the hour. Set the hour to six o'clock okay, a.m. So we need to move it around till it's pointing to the six. Set the hour to three o'clock a.m. Okay, we move it to the three. Set the hour to eight. O'clock PM eight. Set the hour to eleven o'clock AM to the eleven. Set the hour to seven o'clock AM. Set the hour to ten o'clock PM. Well done. We're ready to play with the big hand. Press the cloud to fill the bucket. There are always two hands on a clock. The small one sews the hour, and the big one sews the minutes. Using the two hands, big and small, try to set the clock to the right time. Set the hour to 5, 30. Okay. AM. So they've made the hours red like the red hand and the minutes blue like the blue hand. All right, so we need to put the red hand, the hour hand on 5 and the blue hand on 30. Set the hour to 10. 15. So we PM. set the hour hand to 10 and the minute hand to 15. Set the hour to 4, 15 so the minute hand PM. To four, and the other hand was on the right space. Set the hour to 1, 45 PM. So you're seeing how this works. There is so much more still to explore. But I've given you a sneak peek into TikTok time. So you can see whether it's going to be right for you. I certainly think it's going to be right for our family here. Now don't go without clicking on our Smart Apps for Kids links for great reviews, free apps every single day and the best giveaways.